the apostles and the elders of great millstone true well. Uh, salutations to the hopeful elect out there, man. You brothers that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. On the priest Shaman, um, this week, um, in transit, lesson on my mind, if you will, um, is going to be uh, learning to be uncomfortable. And if you want to be uncomfortable, you're gonna make you're gonna make it pretty far in this thing, man. Because that's that's, that's really the main thing. And, you know, as I was meditating on it, for example, uh, we had the Wednesday lesson, correct? We do them every Wednesday. Well, that shit was brick ass cold, and I was extremely comfortable in my bed. <laughs> but the uncomfortable thing to do was to get the fuck out, go on this cold weather, make the commute to the brother's house, and do this lesson. And I thought about that. I was like, damn, wait a minute. It doesn't just stop there. If you think about it, the main thing the most I do to test you is to make you really uncomfortable. And you brothers could do this uh, experiment for yourself. Think about your life before uh, this knowledge and think about it after. Prior to coming in this thing, even if you were catching hell, your life was a, was more com uh, more comfortable, right? But you come to this thing, the most I put you in just in some uncomfortable uh, situation. But if you learn to cope with that, You'll come out better. And um, I was thinking about um, this grape. All right. They, they have this grape that grows in the desert under the most harsh, uncomfortable uh, conditions. But it's like one of the most uh, sweetest, uh, rich in nutrients types of grapes. And then, you know, we apply everything to the scriptures. You think about scriptures like the book of Hosea, the ninth chapter, that men are likened onto grapes. And chiefly the elect men are, are likened onto grapes as well. Because the book of Micah. Uh, Micah the seventh chapter Micah said he felt like one of the grape gleaners Desiring one of the sincere grapes With one of the A nice cluster Meaning uh, A good man A good man Or a man of the Lord Is like a good uh, Grape man Alright The same thing is also said In the book of 2nd Ezra I believe it's the 15th chapter 2nd Ezra is Well Ezra is likened onto a, a small cluster of grape But I just think about that uh, Situation about uh, putting somebody in that un uncomfortable position. I thought about that grape that's grown out there in the desert in the most harshest and uncomfortable uh, weather, but yield the best nutrients and the best taste. That's us, man. All right. You might hear it be called adversity. All right, because it's the same thing. But the trials of adversity. But when you learn to be uncomfortable, brothers, and you understand that's a part of it, this truth is going to click with you more. Because guess what? 2019, uh, the year of Karagma. We're going to be put in some uncomfortable uh, situations, man. All right? It's easy right now to commute and buy my daily goods. But when that chip becomes mandatory, we're going to be in un 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 uncomfortable uh, position. Think of those people that are homeless, those people that don't have money, that have to travel from train to train and stuff. They their body's under constant uh, stress and, uh, and, and not being uh, comfort comfortable. We're going to be in that position uh, sooner or later. It's, in it's inevitable, man. All right? Because the scriptures tell us that through much tribulation, you know, we're going to enter the kingdom of heaven. So, and uh, we mentioned this yesterday in the Wednesday lesson. It's very easy to say, you know, when that time comes, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. You know, they kick my door and I'm going to say, come on, motherfucker, bring it. But we have to say, Lord, well, technically, we don't know what the fuck we're going to do. That's how come we have to hope in the mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahshad. It really not make us bitch up and fold. All right, to deal with the uncomfortable things. All right, and we mentioned what yesterday. If you watched our well, Wednesday lesson, we mentioned torturing. All right, there's a video of most death. He's about. What, like a, a, a few seconds in into this torture procedure that they that they do to these uh, Arabs, and he folded like a water real fast. But think about it: if these fucking camel jockey Arabs could die for a mythical, uh, mythical being known as Allah. Then how much more, how much more us, um, for the one true power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and a brother out there in Texas. Um, hey, great lesson, Ak. He did a lesson on sacrifice. He did basically, uh, basically, he did a, a read to my video on. I uh, believe I'm in Great Millstone, and he did a lesson on sacrifice. So I saw your lesson on great point you made about making that sacrifice. Again, are we willing to do these things? Are we willing to be uncomfortable for the truth? Are we willing to sacrifice for the truth? All right, and that's why this truth technically don't technically on the most part it doesn't really click with women because what women like to be comfortable. Women like things, as the scripture says, woe to the woman that are at ease in Zion. All right, only a few good men is going to be able to deal with the uncomfortable that, the uncomfortableness that comes to the truth. All of a sudden, some bullshit happened at your job, some bullshit happened at your car, some bullshit happened with your family. All these things are thrown on you left and right that the most side never, never makes you get too comfortable in the society because if you get too lax, 
in the society, you become too slothful. Well, the book of Ecclesiastes, the 10th chapter, and the 18th verse tells us what? To, sloth, to, 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 to slothfulness, the house, a house decayeth. All right? And who's the house? We're the book of 1 Corinthians, the third chapter. We're the house, we're the, we're the, we're the most high building. We're that temple that he dwells in. Not one made with hat ends, which is from the book of Acts chapter 7, verse 48, but we're that temple that the most high is dwelling in. And to keep this temple, and, and to keep it clean, to keep it, keep, it, to keep it pure, we have to be moving, we can't get too lax, we can't get too fucking comfortable, man. So we have to learn to be uncomfortable, man. And look at this weather. It's cold as a motherfucker out here. But guess what, brothers in the Midwest are dealing with worse, and we know when we go out there Saturday, it ain't gonna be comfortable, all right? If your flesh is gonna tell you, man, it's gonna be nice to be in your crib, probably uh, uh, cozied up with a bitch, you know what I'm saying? Cozy up with your woman, you know what I'm saying? Doing whatever, you know, doing doing as you, doing, she doing as you please you and all that. That's what the flesh is telling you. The flesh wants comfort. But we got to train our mind, our spirit to be uncomfortable, all right? Hey, quick little lesson. Um, don't want to drag it out too much. I think the point has been made, all right? So whatever type of bullshit happens uh, to you, just, hey, brothers, it's a part of this thing, man. It's, a, it's an absolute part of this thing, and... That's how things become better, man. Look up, look up, look up. Um, what you can do again is you can look up uh, particular fruits that are grown under the hardest and harshest conditions, such as that wild grape that's grown out in the desert, or other fruits. If you want to find out, and you see the similarities between that and the men that the most is looking for, man. <laughs> yeah, I, real quick before I close out, I was just think about um, look at those other camps. Why, why do, why do, why do other camps have such a great populace? Because a lot of them motherfuckers. You, you get to be comfortable, man. You get to do as you pretty much will, you know. You tell me I can grow my dreads out. You tell me I can line my shit up. You tell me I can uh, line up my beard. Um, you tell me I could get, you know, you tell the woman they could get married. All the things that, all the smooth things. All right? And this is nothing new. As, they, as, as the scripture says, they want, you know, the two-thirds want to prophesy smooth things under them. But the truth is a bit more uncomfortable. And when you tell people the truth and you put them in, a, in, a, in an uncomfortable state, they tend to hate you, man. All right? Like, why you put me through that? Hey, but the elect will understand, man. Hey, with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rukaku Dash, the last of the apostles, and the elders of the great Muslim, which you will. And uh, salutations to all for the elect out there, man. You brothers that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. Shalom, Akim.